Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I've been wanting to make this video. I've tried to make it actually a few times, but anyways, this 102 inch whip has been a fascination of mine, I mean, for over 15 years. Um, I've gone to every antenna, which I've had great ones. Wilson 5000 mag mount, I've had on here the Stryker SR810, fabulous magnet mount with the 62 inch whip. But I keep coming back to the 102 inch whip. I'm absolutely fascinated by it. So I've never been able to mount it for obvious reasons that it's 102 inches, it slaps everything. So I may have come up with a solution. Hopefully this can help you guys. So I'm gonna be in my shadow here. First off, I found this guy Stargun on the internet. He, he doesn't advertise a lot, so it, it took some emails, but he asked me to send him a picture of my roof. So I got this 2000 Tahoe, which I got for uh, $2,500. So I don't mind modifying it a little bit, um, but he still recommended against the drilling through the roof. Um, which I was, I wanted to, but he says, no, no, bring these ladder rungs together, these crossbars, he says they're real sturdy, and he'll give me a solution. So he sent me this a week later, it's this big aluminum plate. So I centered up these holes, made it laterally and horizontally, um, pretty straight as I could. Um, and I piloted some holes. I put these bolts, he, he, he sent these bolts with it. Put these bolts in and then this hockey puck, puck mount came with it and this tilt over with a nut and a bolt on each side so you can tighten or loosen this as needed. Um, which is great because if you really need this to come down and you don't wanna take this off, you just unscrew this a little bit and the whole thing will tilt over from here. But this, um, this doesn't need to come off a lot of the time because I curved it with braided fishing wire. So this is the only way I figured out I could keep this antenna on permanently because you know you always have to take these off. I mean, of course, unless you're going through a, a bank teller line and this really will hit the roof. Um, but what I did was I put two layers of braided fishing wire. I wrapped it a few times around the end. I slid clear shrink wrap over it and I hit it with the lighter and it didn't melt because it's braided. The monofilament melted immediately. So I got the two layers of braided fishing wire and then I pulled it through the opening back here. I wrapped it around a washer a few times, a bunch of times, and then I piloted a hole here, I screwed in this hook, and then boom. If you ever really need to pull the tension off that antenna, you got this, send it through there, and it'll floop, fly through there, or you can pull it back here, and it'll hold tension. And if you want, you close it up, no problem, open it back up. There's no real friction on it. Works pretty good for me. I mean, this is just my solution. I don't know, it's been working pretty well. And it came with a four gauge, a four gauge ground wire, which I zip tied to the rails all the way there to the end. And I'll show you where it comes down. This is the ground wire. Ran it dun, da, 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 down here. Oh, and then went underneath. I cleaned off a piece of the chassis here. Screwed it in real tight. And then the coax is on the other side. Ran it right here. Right here. And then I ran it along the top of the vehicle. Only place it comes down is right here. 
and through the seat, and behind the seat, to a two pill fat boy, which then runs up to my radio, the Cobra 29, on the dash, which I can show you how it performs. So this is 33 in Northwest Georgia. Nothing ever happened like you just didn't see it coming. Clear as day, right? Love it. I love this antenna. So I'm gonna go up one channel so I don't mess with the conversation. Let's see. So fat boy two pill. It's off. And let's go down to 31. Let's see what the SWR sound like. So, I already put it to SWR. This is with the amp off. Let's see if you can see the screen there. It's kind of hard to see. Barely moves. Audio, audio, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Audio. So, it moves just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to put this on. Okay, that's with Toshiba transistors. It puts about 220 out. And, you know, I got the Delta tune all the way down. Now the SWRs again. Audio, audio. Okay, so it dead keys around with the amp on one and a half to one so the two is right there around 1.5 1.6 to one and then again with it off barely barely moves Maybe 1.1, 1.2. I love the SWRs on this 102. It is just fantastic. Um, and it also, the ears are fabulous as well. And this is in my driveway. Are you using the, the, the hand mic or are you using a different mic? When you when you put that on, because the silver you go on a D one hundred four, basically the same. That is in my driveway. It sounds fabulous, and this thing is solid as a rock. When you go driving down the highway, because it's slanted like that, it really just grazes off of branches. It really doesn't. It's not hitting a vertical antenna. It's hitting a slanted antenna, but it pretty much always looks like as if you're on the highway driving, nothing greater than that. So it's really not that bad looking in my eyes. And I know everyone, you know, in the CB world loves these 102 inch whips and I can't explain it. I always keep coming back to them, but they're not very practical, but I've been leaving this thing up for like two months now and I've been talking. The thing's got a fa fabulous ears and can talk like a son of a gun. I absolutely love this. Anyway, this is my solution to permanently mounting my 102 inch whip on the mobile. Hopefully you guys find this, I don't know, interesting, useful. And uh, let me know your thoughts. I, I mean, I'm sure I'll, I'll I'm, I'm sure I did something wrong here, but so far it's talking fantastic local. I caught uh, some guy in uh, Beantown yesterday, yesterday clear as day in a Walmart parking lot, uh, Beantown, Boston, USA. I mean, crystal clear with this thing. So obviously it talks DX really well and it's center mounted with the four gauge ground wire, RG58 coax. I, I don't know. I absolutely love this setup. Hopefully you guys uh, give me some feedback. Let me know your thoughts and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.